We now have a service class which has a method which makes REST API calls and prints something to the console. But that's not what we want. We want to be able to create an instance of this user class. All right, and what we have here is an object of type any because the request API doesn't really know what the structure of this thing is. So it's not typing it, it's just giving you any. I want to create a new instance of user based on this object. There are a bunch of different ways in which you can do this, right? There are a bunch of different ways in which you can construct this object. Uh, the approach that I'm gonna take is to use a constructor. Well, it's something that's apt considering its name, isn't it? So I'm gonna create a constructor on user which takes in an object from the REST API and then initializes itself to a new user object. Now let's say I create a constructor uh, which takes in the uh, user user response, which is any, and it's going to initialize itself based on this user response. So what does user response look like? We have a bunch of fields, with field names over here, which is not really the same as the user object property names. All right, so you have repo count over here, but here. Uh, the name of the property is public underscore repos. So the properties don't really match. So you cannot really consider this user response to be of type user. If they were of the same names, then by duct typing, we've learned that you can consider the object to be of type user, but the properties are clearly not of the same name. So we need to initialize this, all right? So initializing it involves copying over the properties. So this stuff login equals Login. So the property name is same over here. So let's use a response stuff login. Copy this over a bunch of times. Okay. Now let's look at the other names. Uh, this is name, and uh, this dot full name is user response dot name. All right, so this is the property in the response object that GitHub provides us. And this is a property on the class that we have over here, All right? So I'm just doing the mapping over here. So let's look at the repo count. The repo count is public underscore repos. So I'm gonna say public underscore repos, and this is on the object, it's repo count followers. And this is follower count. Okay, now repos, uh, we haven't made the request to get the repos yet, so this is gonna be empty. I'm just gonna comment this out. And for now, I'm gonna make this optional by adding a question mark over here because when we create this object, it's gonna be without this repos property. So uh, this is gonna be optional for now. Hit save. And in my GitHub API service, rather than printing to the console the body itself, I'm gonna say let user equals new user object. I'm initializing this user with the body. It's gonna be a capital U here. And uh, of course I need to import user from dot user. So I have now transformed this object that I get from the response into a user instance, an instance of this user class. And now I'm gonna go ahead and print this out. And uh, let me run this. Well, this didn't quite work. Maybe what I'm getting back is a string. So what I'm gonna do is json dot parse it. Let's try this out. And if this works, I have a better idea. Okay, so that did work. So what I'm getting back in the body is a string which needed to be parsed in order to make an object. So in order to tell the request library that I don't need 
string that I have to then parse to JSON and to give me JSON directly, I use this property called JSON true and I pass that in the options. You see this options object over here, I'm passing JSON colon true and with this, the request library is gonna return me JSON so I don't have to do this parsing myself. All right, so I'm gonna hit save and run this again. And now I get back the object as JSON. So the body is gonna be a, a JavaScript object and I don't have to do the parsing myself. All right, so now I have this user object created over here. And uh, is this good enough? Well, it's technically not good enough because what I wanna do is get this user object in my main file, right? So right now it's in the GitHub API service, which is not really good. I wanna get this in the main file index.ts so that I can use that object to print to the console from my main file and not from the service and uh, also make a subsequent request to uh, the repos object, uh, so the repos API, sorry, to get the repository information. I don't wanna use this uh, method as this thing that only prints to the console. I want this to be a generic method that returns somehow, gives back this object and, um, and then have the consumer of this method deal with it and not have this method itself print to the console. We'll see how to do that in the next video.